Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Thursday, the 26th of May, Ascension Day. Ascension Day teaches that we have a Savior who died, rose again, and then ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, interceding for us. And he promised he will come and take us to be with him. We have life in the Son. And that is echoed by one of the passages we read today with Robert Murray McShane, John's first letter and the fifth chapter. Now, this is a chapter that has a whole lot that is not quite so plain and simple to get your head around. And so, for instance, in verse um, six, we read, this is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. What does it mean he came by water and blood? How do we explain this? Um, and I've seen commentators and various people explain it in various ways, none of which has really convinced me. And a little later in verse 7, we read, For there are three that testify, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three are in agreement. And again, what does that mean? There are these three that testify, water, spirit, and blood. And it's very easy at this point to, to say, I don't know what he's talking about. I give up. Let me close the Bible and go home. And we don't, we mustn't do that. Keep going and find places that are easier to get your head around. And so in verse 11, we have, and this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life and this life is in his son. God has given us eternal life in his son. And it reinforces that in the next verse where it says, verse 12, whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the son, son of God does not have life. Now, those two verses are pretty straightforward and easy to understand. And as has been said, Alistair Begg says on more than one occasion, the plain things are the main things. And so we read the, the, the chapter and those verses that are plain and easy to understand, hang on to those because that's the main point. The testament, the, what testifies and how Jesus came by water and blood, that's not critical. The main point is that in Christ, if we are in Christ, we have eternal life. That we hold on to. And we just pray, God, help me one day to understand what the rest of it means and how to get my head around the rest of it. But in the meanwhile, I will stand on your word. I will stand on the main, on the plain things, knowing that, that they are the, the, the main point that you're making. And that if we have the Son, and thank you, Jesus, that we, as Christians, we have you. We have life, not because we deserve it, but because you're a God of love, compassion, generosity, and grace. So on this Ascension Day, know that we have eternal life in Christ, who has ascended to the Father's side and will come and take us to be with him when he returns in glory. That's our hope. That's our faith. That's our future. Be blessed.